Welcome back fellow Horror Night fans and Universal fans alike. Welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World, where today I'm giving my top five most anticipated mazes for Halloween Horror Nights 2017 Hollywood. I can't wait. It's 12 days before I fly out and it's on October 5th when I actually get to experience the event, so I'm really excited. So this is just my top five most anticipated list and this is my opinion. Uh, so it may change when I get to experience the event and actually get to experience it in person. But from what I've seen and kind of my own personal feelings, these are what I'm most looking forward to. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And at number five, we have The Shining. Now, this is kind of a mixed bag, as I've said in my other videos. Uh, I am looking forward to this maze, but I'm also a bit anxious to see how it pulls off in a maze environment. Some of the preview clips I've seen of the maze look interesting and some things have me a bit worried. So this is kind of along the side with Exorcist where I wasn't sure if it would work as a maze. And even though that maze was still enjoyable, it didn't blow me away. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's shining heads up. I've heard mixed things. I've heard people really enjoy it and people just not really into it. So I'm kind of curious to see this in person as the film is a classic and I can't wait to see these famous scenes recreated in a live attraction. So this is why this one's number five. Coming in at number four, we have Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I love the show and I love the movie franchise. And this is gonna be interesting to see how this works off as a comedy maze. I'm kind of curious to see the, how they do Ash in the maze. I've seen some clips where they use the mask, but to see it in person, uh, I want to give a full kind of feelings on this. However, uh, I can't wait to see it. I I hope Ashy Slashy the puppet's in the maze. Um, but I've heard, again, this is just like The Shining, I've heard mixed things. People have enjoyed it. People have been kind of a bit disappointed. So as someone who really loves the show, I'm kind of curious to see it in person go through it. But this is why this one's on the list, is uh, just my love of the show and the franchise and the characters uh, to see how they have recreated this in a live attraction. Coming in at number three, we have American Horror Story Roanoke. Now, I'm one of the few people I feel like that actually did enjoy Roanoke. I mean, I admit the ending was a bit of a disappointment, but the the kind of lore that they built within this kind of uh, this this kind of reality show setting uh, with the ghost stories of the Rono colony and the kind of creatures and also the spirits that they've kind of come up with have kind of made for a very interesting and I think more interesting maze uh, form. Uh, the Pigman, for example, is splattered everywhere of the. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise, but I'm also very excited to see how they do the Butcher, um, the Chens, I'm kind of curious to see how they do the Chens and the, the crawling uh, ghosts uh, from the show. Um, that's one that's going to freak me out if it's done right. So I can't wait to see how they pull this season off in this, sh in this format. Now what's interesting is Unlike last year's maze, which had three seasons, this is one complete season, so they have a lot to work with without being restricted about doing other seasons and compressing them into a maze. So I'm interested to see how this pulls this, uh, how this one has performed this year. Coming in at number two, we have Insidious Beyond the Further. I love the Insidious uh, mazes. I still have. The, from the first year that they did it, back in 2013, I still have the Elise Rayner uh, Spectral Sightings card from uh, Specs and Tucker. Uh, I still have it in my wallet. And uh, I'm happy that they are doing the uh, password again for this maze with a different business card, which I'd love to get for my collection. Um, well, one part of my Spectral Sightings uh, collection card. And, um, but with Utilizing all four films, this is going to be interesting to see how much they've condensed or put into the maze uh, to fit in different scenes. And I've heard it is mostly four with scenes from one, two, and three chapters. And this is this could work really well, or it could be a bit of a cluster mess. So I'm kind of curious to see how this performs in a, in the maze itself. 
Uh, very excited because I'm looking forward to chapter four, so this will be a great preview to experience. As John Murdy has said, this is a living trailer for the film, so I'm very excited to go through this maze once again and travel into the further. And finally, number one, we have Titans of Terror. This is by far my most anticipated maze, simply because it's got three of some of my favorite horror icons in the maze. I'm very excited. A uh, little bit disappointed that Michael didn't show up. However, I believe partly it's because they're making a new film and some of the rights might have been kind of changed around a little bit. However, still excited to see Leatherface, Fre uh, Freddy and Jason all in the same maze. Uh, I love the fact the facade is basically a horror fan's um, kind of haunt, mini haunt outside of it on his uh, front porch. I love this idea and I'm very excited to see John Murdy's um, little cameo as uh, an old horror TV um, presenter. So I'm really excited to see this maze. So those are my top five most anticipated mazes. I'm curious to see if you guys haven't gone, uh, what were yours? Or if you did, what were your top five favorite mazes? List them in the comments below. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Until the next time, guys, this is Halloween Horror World, David, signing off.